video, we're going to de be dealing with static files. In Django, the additional files needed to be served are referred to as static files and can be images, JavaScript, or CSS. I want to change how the project's status, static files are locally served. For more information about static files, it can be found at the following URL. So open up your finder and we're going to go to the static directory. In static, we're going to create three new folders. One, static only, two, static, and three, media. Next, we're going to open up try10settings.py. Now, here we're going to set some directory paths for when debug equals true. Debug will only equal true during local development. We'll need to change this when the site is live. So scroll to the bottom, bottom of settings.py. Following, we have some denser lines of code. You can either type along with us, or you can copy the code from the attached file. The media directory will be able to hold user-generated content such as image files. The project CSS and JavaScript will go into the static directory. It's just important that they are here so that the app's static files will serve properly. So open up try10 urls.py. Here we're going to set up our static URL. First, we're going to need to import settings and static. So type from django.conf import settings. And below from django.conf.urls.static import static. And then at the bottom of the page, we're going to type if settings.debug colon under that URL patterns plus equals static bracket settings dot static underscore URL document underscore root equals settings dot static underscore root. This if statement is saying that if, in the setting files, debug is set to true, use this static URL. Now we need to make a URL pattern for media. So copy the static URL and paste it on to line 30. Type on to that media underscore URL, and then at the end of the line media underscore root. To ensure all the CSS and JavaScript is gathered by Django to be displayed, first we need to collect my, our static files. So save urls.py, open your terminal, and to collect the static files, type python manage.py collect static. Next, next, type yes, run the server, and in Chrome, go to slash admin. Everything's going to look the same. This is because no CSS or JavaScript has been modified, so there's nothing new to see. In the future, when we update our CSS and don't see any style on a page, it's likely because we forgot to run collect static. Now the project static files are set up and working.